The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has made an exciting new observation, uncovering the origin of an unusual galactic feature. We're focusing on NGC 4486b, a compact elliptical galaxy that has long puzzled astronomers. An international team of astronomers used the JWST to conduct a detailed observational campaign on NGC 4486b. NGC 4486b is a compact elliptical galaxy located at the center of the Virgo cluster. It's relatively small with an effective radius of about 620 light years. Previous observations by the Hubble Space Telescope revealed a double nucleus in NGC 4486b, similar to what's found in the Andromeda galaxy. The two peaks are separated by about 39 light years. With this intriguing double nucleus, Astronomers wanted to get a closer look and finally pinpoint its origin. The precise reason for this double nucleus structure remained uncertain, prompting a deeper investigation. One leading theory suggested the double nucleus could be caused by an eccentric, absolutely aligned stellar disk orbiting a central supermassive black hole, often referred to as an END. To get to the bottom of this, the team used the JWST's Near Infrared Spectrograph, or NIR spec, and combined it with existing data from the Hubble Space Telescope. The new JWST observations provided critical photometric and kinematic signatures, pointing strongly towards the eccentric nuclear disk theory. The JWST findings specifically showed that NGC 4486b has a flat core with a radius of about 65.2 light years. Crucially, the supermassive black hole was identified approximately 19.5 light years from the galaxy's center, suggesting a potential velocity offset relative to the surrounding stars. These observations strongly suggest that the double nucleus is indeed an eccentric nuclear disk, or END, a lopsided stellar disk bound to the supermassive black hole. This scenario points to a gravitational wave recoil kick that transformed a circular stellar disk into the observed eccentric shape. Further supporting the END theory, the fainter peak and the velocity dispersion peak were found to coincide, matching predictions for nearly edge-on ends. Based on the observed properties, astronomers estimate the supermassive black hole experienced a powerful recoil kick of about 340 kilometers per second. With this speed, the prediction is that the supermassive black hole should eventually return to the galaxy's center within an estimated 30 million years. NGC 4486b's nucleus is now considered a rare, nearby laboratory for studying the complex post-merger dynamics of supermassive black holes.